Hey guys, nice seeing you here. This year I have decided to keep a journal and stick with it. Before anything, I would like to thank everyone who participated in helping me choose which notebook should I use for this journal. And you guys picked this one, this pretty pink Japanese pattern notebook which I really like too. The theme is going to be black and gold and for that I bought this gold pen from Kinokuniya and also this white pen. And tada! This is a very compulsory a wooden pencil, I just want to flex the tip. Very cute. Ruler and eraser very mistake friendly and next I have accessories which I may or may not use but they all suits the theme. We have golden reflex stickers, scrap papers, envelopes and more stickers. And this is the notebook I use to jot down all the drafts. So let's dramatically turn over the table mat because this side suits the theme better and voila! That's all I need for this journal. So let's get started. First thing first, I'm gonna test out all my pens to see if they write out nicely and also if the words can be read clearly, especially on top of the pattern pages. So far, so good. Everything looks fine here. Now I'm gonna test the white pen on a black paper. Of course, we can see it and the gold one looks nice too. For the first spread, I'm going to use this alphabet stickers which are perfect for the steam and I'm using this, uh, I, I don't know what it is actually. <laughs> January is trial month, right? We're going to see first how it looks. I scribbled the calendar. Yes, this is a calendar page. Kind of like a year in a glance. Yeah, so fast forward, write down all the dates. So I'm going to do this for the next 11 other months too. Looking great! Even writing on pattern pages. Over here, I'm drawing lines to separate between all the months and I use 6 months per page and 3 months per row. So there's 2 rows in every page. Next, I'm gonna pick out all of the stickers and do a little ASMR. Enjoy! Okay, right now I'm sticking on the alphabet stickers, three letters representing each month and I try my best to alternate between the two colors. Black and gold, I really like how it turns out, they are so cool together. We are done, now let's jump into filling all the dates for every month, there we go. Now for the final touch of this spread. I'm writing down 2022 on a black scrap paper with the gold pen and I'm gonna cut them out individually. I'm arranging all the numbers in the middle of the page and paste it. La 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 Okay, that's done. On to the next page, I'm gonna put keys for symbols that I'm gonna use throughout the journal. Please look at the font I use. Keys. <laughs> so I use a checkbox for tasks and check it if it's done. And a hardship for birthdays, stars for events, and a circle for items. So I'm cutting it out in an irregular shape we are done and proceed to pasting it in the very middle of the page for the next page I'm just gonna put down my name moving on to the next page I'm calling the spread goals digger where I will put down all of my goals I'm separating it into two parts one is for work stuff and another for personal goals um, now that I am graduated this year I need to find a job and work like a normal 
useful doll. On this page, it's gonna be my wish list. It's kind of similar with my goals, only that it is more on the materialistic side. I only have two sections for now, which are gadgets and clothes. Who knows, it might get longer by time. Okay, okay, uh, so for uh, this page right here, I'm writing down an affirmation. If you have been on TikTok for a while, I'm sure you recognize this affirmation. I really love it. It's like a cool affirmation that you can practice every day to remind yourself how powerful you are. This spread right here, it titles Check This Out where I will be listing down entertainments that I feel like it's worthy to check out. So I have four categories which are animes, k-dramas, movies, and even books. I'm not much of a reader but I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. I'm gonna try to read as much book as I can this year. Wish me luck on that. As you all probably already know, I have an Instax camera and I plan to take as much Polaroid photos as I can as the highlights of 2022. Okay now, brace yourself because the next part is gonna be the most difficult one throughout this whole entire journal and by now you're probably wondering why am I cutting up all these pages I'm basically ruining my journal but trust me it will all come together in the end and it will be worth it <laughs> that's what I told myself when I was doing this but yeah let's just trust the process and you will see why in a bit as you can see here, I am basically making a table, the outline of it, with few columns and so many rows. And I am repeating it for like a few pages, about four pages I think. And the reason why I cut up the end of the pages and all is because I am making a Dutch door which is ins highly inspired by Amanda Richley as this is gonna be my 2022 investments yes I'm an adult now and I want to start investing I want to learn how to invest and invest my money and put to good use instead of spending it I want to save and make passive income yep so I have separated into few categories um, for a few platforms to invest yep some I'm already started investing some I am going to learn this year and yeah this is the year that I am going to be financially literate I'm manifesting it I'm praying for it I'm gonna have savings I'm gonna have money I'm not gonna spend money like water anymore and this is the last page it's the money tracker where I will track my money my spendings my savings my earnings um, basically I'm gonna do it the same way with my investment spread which is by month remember this raya envelope that fits perfectly with the theme well I've decided to put it at the back of the journal and I'm gonna write a letter to myself so that I can read it at the end of the year and see how much things have changed, what have I achieved. So that's pretty much it for my 2022 journal. So this is the flip through of all the pages that we have done so far. Overall, I am so so satisfied with how this journal has turned out. It's so pretty and it's so cool. It's very minimalistic but because of the color combination, I love it so much. I have all the spreads that I need to go through the years. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the process of me making this journal. Do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more contents from me. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye.